It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and it's time for some Yee Tea. Now, shout out to Detroit. I'll be there this weekend. And Cash Doll is launching her OnlyFans account. And there will be exclusive content. But she also wants people to know that it's about freedom of expression. It's not necessarily going to be, you know, sexy pictures. I know OnlyFans has this stigma, right? Dan? My producer, Dan, is here. He's, like, excited for this cash doll. OnlyFans. Well, here's what she had to say. OnlyFans is for things for only your fans to see. It is not just sexual. You know, I got paid a bankroll to join OnlyFans so that they can change the narrative of what OnlyFans is for. Remember when OnlyFans tried to make it so that there wouldn't be any type of um, mm-hmm. explicit content on there, but they had to go right back to it? It lasted, like, one day. <laughs> it lasted, like, people were like, no! Yep. But... Like we've always said, I remember Donnell Rawlings has an OnlyFans account. You can put anything you want on there. It's really about content creation, but there are a lot of people who make money off of, you know, Lunella is getting off OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. She said she started her account thinking it was just going to be exclusive content, and then it got a little yeah, sexier than she left, yeah. anticipated. But I'm sure Cash Doll is about to get the bag from that. Her name is Cash Doll. All right, Taylor Swift made almost $2 billion this year from her music, her movie, touring, and concert merchandise. Is that crazy? Sure. Almost $2 billion. They said it was really uh, $1.82 billion. So shout out to her for that. Hater or lover, Taylor Swift is doing a thing. Undeniable. Undeniable. Now, Beyonce, in the meantime, is officially now worth $800 million following her Renaissance World Tour. According to Forbes, she made $300 million in 2023 alone. That's a listen. Whatever people are saying about concerts, not selling out this, this, and that, it just depends on who you are. People are still paying those prices. People are still paying those prices. And Beyonce also dropped a grown woman on streaming. That is to celebrate 10 years of her self-titled Beyonce album. And if y'all don't remember, grown woman. I'm a grown woman. All right, so, uh, yeah, I mean, that's amazing. I didn't even realize that you couldn't stream that, but Beyonce has so many hits, but that is a hit song, so it's nice. I feel like I'm about to add that to a playlist right now. I like when artists go back and put out music that the fans used to love, like the old stuff, and they make it available on streaming. Or like an old mixtape, and you're like, yeah, let's put that available. Like Chance did that with Acid Rap. All right, now, Beyonce's father, in the meantime, Matthew Knowles, his memoir is going to go for a film and series adaptation. The film will cover the first half of his book and recount uh, Beyonce's early year, oh, his early years growing up uh, during the race riots in early 60s Alabama. He was one of six black students to attend an all-white school. He also participated in peaceful protest. He was burned with a cattle prod, and on one occasion, he was arrested four times in one day. All right, so he said these are the, um, he, he also discusses his father and mother. And, yeah, so I think that could be interesting to see. It's not just about Beyonce and Solange. It's also about him and what his early life um, was like. All right, well, that is your Yee And when we come back, we have About Last Night. I told you guys I was watching this movie um, with Julia Roberts, with Ethan Hawke, with Kevin Bacon, with Mahershala Ali, who I love. And so I want to see if any of you guys saw that and weigh in on it because I'm trying to figure out I know, Dan, you saw it, so we can talk about it, what it was about, really. (laughs) All right, it is um, about last night is next. It's way up.